In this video I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot of a website using Jing. First thing to do is to install Jing on your computer and you can get it by coming to this website here techsmith.com forward slash Jing and then you can install it onto your computer. It takes about 10 minutes. If you're running a Windows computer you'll need to have Microsoft.NET Framework and Windows Installer installed on your computer. Uh, if you don't you'll be prompted to install them as part of the installation process. And when Jing is installed on your computer you'll see this little thing at the top of the window which looks like a sun and there's also another icon down in the Windows system tray as well that tells you that Jing is installed and running. And when you click on the Sun icon and you want to take a screenshot uh, you can click here on the plus sign here, the capture icon and just click once and then you drag out these crosshairs to cover the part of the screen that you want to capture. Just like that. Okay, that's captured and now I can look at the several options I can have. I can capture an image or I can capture a video. I can also record from a webcam but you need Jing Pro for that. I'm going to use an image for this demonstration so I click on this icon here and you can see it opens up this window and that's the image that's been captured. There are several options, annotations I can make to the image. For example I can put an arrow in like this and I can change the color using this palette. I can also import some text if I want. Oops. There we go. And then I can either save it to my hard drive, I can copy it to my computer's clipboard, or I can share it via screencast.com, which is a service that TechSmith offer where you can actually upload it to their website and they'll have a URL which you can include in emails and stuff like that. I'm going to save it to my computer's hard drive and I'm going to save it to the desktop and you'll see that it's automatically assigned a name to this file and it's saving it as a PNG file. So I just click on save to save it and you can see there it says capture has been saved. Now if I just reduce this window or minimize this window rather and you can see there we have the PNG file saved on my computer's desktop. So if I just uh, right click that so I can open it in Firefox you can see what it looks like. And there we go there's the screenshot that's been saved. Now up here I can also look at the history that I've done. Here's some screenshots that I took earlier on. And there's some other information here. If you click on this icon it opens up that. You can get Jing Pro. I'm using the free version for this demonstration but there is a paid for version that you can have as well which offers some more features. Take, you see the other icons here. Various other things that you can do with Jing. And there we go. That's how you can take a screenshot of a website using Jing.